Reports emerged today that have deepened the mystery around Toronto Mayor Rob Ford. That flight to Chicago last week, allegedly heading for rehab, well, he never got off the plane. Instead, Ford turned around and came right back to Canada. So where is the self-confessed crack smoker? And after a record of lies and denials, does the public have a right to know? Is he really in rehab? CTV's Katie Simpson has the latest. Are you going to rehab, Rob? As Mayor Ford left his house Thursday, it seemed clear where he was going. But where the mayor is right now remains a mystery, after what we know was a failed attempt to get into the United States. Canada's Consul General in Chicago says Mayor Ford arrived in Chicago last Thursday and that after discussion with U.S. Customs and Border Protection, he withdrew his request to enter the USA and came home. The Consul General wouldn't say why, but immigration lawyers say the answer may lie in Ford's admitted drug use. Yes, I have some the crack cocaine. Okay. And allegations about a new crack video. If he admits the essential elements of the offense of possession, which he's done publicly, he can actually be barred for that reason. That's what happened to British chef Nigella Lawson, who was barred from entering the U.S. after admitting to using cocaine. Are you going to rehab? So the same day Ford left, so publicly, he quietly returned, raising questions once again whether the controversial mayor, so frequently caught in a lie, ever went to rehab at all. Even his supporters want proof. I would ask that some, some form of of document be shown by uh, an expert uh, doctor some, uh, in the field that perhaps might be treating him. His number one defender, Brother Doug, says there's no mystery. He's in a rehab facility, 100%, and uh, he's got the support that he needs. In Canada or the U.S.? I can't comment on that. But Rob Ford was talking today by telephone, allegedly from a rehab facility. He was in good spirits, said he was working out and, and uh, uh, that he was in rehab. Contact with the outside world so soon is unusual for substance abuse patients, according to this director of a Toronto rehab facility. They need to give in their cell phone, for instance, as soon as they come in. So they're not allowed to do phone calls unless they've been approved. Whether or not Rob Ford is in rehab, he doesn't have to prove it. Toronto City Council doesn't require a doctor's note or any documentation when a member takes a leave. Lisa. Okay, Katie Simpson in Ottawa tonight. Coming up in two minutes.